Oh, everybody, guess what? I have a, yet another Timothy haul. Um, if you saw the previous video where I got this shirt, I mentioned that we had another order on the way. It arrived today. So, I got one package yesterday that took me a couple weeks to get. This one took me about a week to get. <laughs> and arrived the day after. If I would have realized that this was going to be here today, we would have waited and saved it and made one big video. But hey, now you get to watch a second video of me. Yay! Like, like that's anything special, right? Anyway, let me see if I can figure out how to get in here. There's some clothing in this one, too. I think there's a couple pairs of jeans, because I wanted to try their pants. Now that I've tried their shirts, I'm still not entirely sure how I feel about the shirts, because the fabric is just, it's not regular t-shirt fabric. It's not like a cotton poly blend. It's some weird, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. Anyway. It's fine. I just, I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Okay, so first off, we have a little soft, does it have a squeaker? No, apparently not. Okay, a little soft, like, bright pink. This says red. It's bright pink. Um, little, looks like a marshmallow peep type bunny. I thought I would give this to my client's dog. Bandit loves getting new toys, and most of the toys he has are from the previous dog. Looks like they put it in... They've got it wrapped in another... Canvas printing. Okay. Well, I don't know if uh, Neko Fluttershy is going to make an appearance or not. And he probably won't watch my videos. I don't think he watches them. But uh, this is for him. So I'm already doing Christmas shopping. But I figure if I do a little bit and sprinkle it throughout the year then it's not going to hit so hard at the holiday season. And these things, you've got to get them when you see them or you probably won't get them. Um, because of course somebody has to message me in the middle of making a video. Hold on one second. Yeah, I think so, too. Okay. Yeah, they tried to call me in, like, 20 minutes ago. Tried to call me and convince me I, it was my day to work. And I'm like, no. He told me we were back to regular schedule. And I haven't had a day off in a, over two weeks. So, okay. Which direction does this go, or does it matter? This is a canvas of a bunch of game controllers. And since he does gaming, I thought, you know, he would probably enjoy this. We'll have to find a frame that fits it. But anyway, there's that. Oh, I'm going to have all this garbage again. Okay, well, what's this? Oh! Come on now. 
is I'm glad they wrapped it well because it could break or be damaged. This is got a lot of packaging for sure. If I can get it open, I'll show you. There we go. This is a little bat carved out of selenite. When the light hits it, it gets this really pretty glow. Selenite is like moonstone. Because some one of the things is it Greek or Roman? Selena is the moon. Anyway, I think it's either Greek or Roman. I can't swear to it. That's why um, Sailor Moon is Selena. So there's that little bat. I gotta figure out where to put it to display it. Oh, okay. That, this isn't going to be good for what I wanted it for. This is, um, they said it was a, an ice tray, but this is so flimsy it's not going to hold water. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to be able to like fill it and then transfer it. It would have to be something that I set on a tray and then fill and then put in the freezer should I want to do that. It's little skulls. Well, this is the second time I've bought a skull ice thing that, um, okay. Oh, those are awful. That's not at all what I thought those were going to look like. Not even remotely close to what I thought those were going to look like. Okay, here's a pair of earrings. I got a pair of jeans and then a pair of leggings that are really awful. I, I don't like the way they look at all. I wonder how hard it is to return things. Because these don't look anything like the picture. <laughs> okay, so these... Our little bat earrings. So there's a little bat at the top that just has a post and then it's got a little drop gem. A little red reddish. It really looks more pink in this light. But yeah. I only see one earring back. Do they only give me one earring back for a pair of earrings? Oh no, there's the other one. It was stuck. Okay. They're just the regular little clutch backs. I will probably find a different set of backs to put on them. Um, when I was younger, like say fourth grade, I think, maybe fifth grade, I had on a pair of earrings and I went to an overnight at a friend's house and my ear started hurting really 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 bad and I had her mom take a look at it and what we discovered was it had those little clutch backs and it had flipped and cut into my ear and the back had worked itself inside the back of my ear so when I got home mom you know, worked on it and actually managed to dig it out and everything. And I ended up letting my ears close up. And it was, it was bad. <laughs> this matches my shirt. It's, um, a Starry Night pouch. It looked brighter in the images on the screen. I would have liked it to have been a little brighter. Like, I mean, this is way bright versus this, which is way dark. But I think they just printed it on a black pouch. It's still cool, though. And, I mean, I, who doesn't love Van Gogh, you know? I really like Van Gogh. 
and I think he was an unsung genius and people just didn't get it. And we have a third pack of the same elephant stickers. Because it's got the same pink elephant on the front. They all looked different in the listings. And I've gotten three of the same set now. Good thing my niece won't care. What's this? Sticker, but what are they of? Aww. Bats, apparently. This one's cute. It's a little bat with a little green furry critter. I don't know what the critter's supposed to be. Ooh, that one's cool. Ooh, that one's cool. <laughs> this one's a, an ice cream cone with kind of a little goth bow on its head and three little bats. There's a little bat cupcake. Oh, that's just adorable. Okay, I'm not going to spend all night sitting here showing you pictures of fat stickers. Um, I don't know if these are different than the packs I got before. But they are certainly cute. And it's fine if they are the same. I can't get them back in the packet, though. There we go. It's fine if they're the same because I don't want to use up the ones I've got. Okay, this is another canvas thing. Okay, this is some more for a Neko Fluttershy. So we got one that looks like a neon light of a controller. It says play now. Um, gamer play and win. One that kind of looks like a old Nintendo there. One that's just a controller. Gamer. Is that the PlayStation symbols? I think it is. Let's play. And game console. I, I don't know why you would want one that says that, but the image is cool. He won't care. He's, he's going to love it. Let's see if I can get these. I don't know if he's going to want those frames or if he's just going to want to tack them up. But whichever, we're going to set them aside for now. Okay, this one's for my niece. Okay, so that's three different ways they've come packaged. Since she loves elephants, I got her this really cute elephant one. For some reason, I thought this one was going to be bigger. But it's okay. I'll have to find a frame for it. I know what this is. Yeah. This is a string of lights. But not just any lights. They are purple bats. Oh, are they? Oh, okay. They are apparently battery operated. Yeah, it looks like they take uh, three AA batteries. Oh, well, that's cool. We're slowly working on this room. Um, 
we took the stack of bins that were over here in the in the corner be, behind where you guys are over in the corner and we moved them into the closet so now I have space and we are hoping that I'll be able to um, is there anything else in here we're hoping I'll be able to put a book case or bookshelf in that space Um, I turned the air conditioning on yesterday because we got up to almost 90 degrees and it gets really stuffy in this room and it wasn't getting cool so let me pause you for a minute I will try on this pair of jeans and the shirt that came and then we'll see what's in the boxes. Okay, that one's got a check mark. It doesn't say what this is. It just says blue and pink. Oh, okay. It's check marked. Okay, I'm going to pause you for a moment so I can go try this stuff on. And I will be back in just a moment. Okay, so I came to unpause you and accidentally stopped you. So I'm hoping that I can somehow put the two clips together. I don't know how to do that with this software. Anyway, here's the t-shirt. Um, same size as the one I was wearing previously. But much snugger. So I don't know. It's fine, I guess. Um... Woodsboro Horror Film Club established 1996. What's your favorite scary movie? And of course, Ghost Faced. So, obviously, it's a reference to the Scary Movie franchise. Um, which, the funny thing is, I think I've only seen the first one. I'm not sure if I've seen the second one or not. But I, I think I may have, may be right when I say I've only seen the first one. The jeans, which. I don't know if I can get far enough away for you to see them and still be in camera. No, I can't. Well, crud. How am I going to do this? Can I turn the camera maybe and step back? I'm trying to show you the jeans. Um, they are actually a little baggy in the back, which I'd rather have them a little loose than too tight. They're really very, very comfortable. I like the, the regular jeans. Now these leggings, they printed denim <laughs> on whatever the fabric is. Oh, these just feel weird. Ooh, I don't like them. Do you not like them? And they look so much better in the picture. But it's just printed. It's, it's not even actual, like, denim fabric. I mean, I guess if they fit, I can wear them around the house. And if they get messed up, it's no big deal. See what happens when I try to be trendy? I've Because I've seen jeans with a similar print. Even at Walmart, I think we got jeans that are similar. But it's actual pieces of denim sewn together. It's not this weird printed fabric. And I think that's what these shirts are, is the same thing. I think they're 3D printed images or whatever. But these jeans, highly recommend the jeans. They're super comfortable, and I am completely out of camera now. Let's turn you back around. There I am. Okay, um... But the sizing, I... The four shirts I've gotten between the two shipments have all been the same size. Two of them have been real snug, and the other two have been fine. My suggestion is if you're going to order t-shirts, order a size larger. Unless you like them being really tight. I like, like my shirts loose, but it is what it is. I, 
I don't even know if I'm going to try those leggings on. They're just so hideous. I'm so disappointed in those. Okay. So this isn't showing on the box. I mean, it's got a check mark on the box, but you can't really see what it is without me taking out of the box. I had to drop the cable. Oof. Okay, it has a place for batteries on the bottom. It takes three double A's, it says. And that pops in there. Okay. And then it's got this little USB cable. Very little USB cable. So, if I want to use this, it's going to have to sit right on the computer, basically. Okay, let me take out this little thumb drive, which I don't need at the moment. I need to buy a new one. That one's getting pretty old. And let's see. Put that. Ha <laughs> ha! Ta da! We have a pink neon bat, which looks white on the screen. Yeah, you can't see the color at all on the screen. It's neon pink. <laughs> it's cute. I like it. But, I mean, this is a very, very short cable. Is there anything I can do? Well, you can kind of see the pink glowing on my arm as I put it behind here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why it looks absolutely white on camera, but it, it's bright pink. It's like magenta. I mean, you can see the, the pink reflecting off my skin. I don't know. That's kind of weird. Okay, we'll turn that off. Okay, this one says it can be battery or USB. This one is supposed to be blue and pink. <coughs> okay, and it came with a little hook so I can, like, put, remove the thing and stick it to the wall. And there's a little thing here at the top so I can hang it. Um, problem is my computer's not next to the wall, so, you know, the USB probably won't work for that. Let's unplug this one and plug in this one. This one at least has a longer cable. Can you tell different colors? No, to me it just looks like white <laughs> on the screen. Which way looks better? I think this way looks better. So the moon is pink, the bat is blue. To me, on the screen it just looks like white. So I don't know how to get my computer to show you the colors. But see, it's not even reflecting the color on... Well, I guess you're getting a little bit of blue if you look at my fingers there. I don't know. I think they're neat. Cheap plastic. But, I mean, that's fine. You know, I'm just using them for decorations. It's not like I need real neon. Okay, so there's... That one is 
a bat and moon. Is it even worth me lighting it up if you can't see the colors? Get back in there. Now I'm going to have to figure out how to hang them up. But it's supposed to have a battery pack that I can attach it to. Yeah. So the other one here is for Neko Fluttershy. And it's got a battery pack. It's got the little hook. confused how's the battery pack supposed to work because it's got the USB thingy but I don't see a spot to plug a USB into anyway there's that Let's see if I can light it up oh and it's got okay so the circle is green the little plus thing is pink, this is yellow in between, and the outside edge is blue. And of course you can't see the colors. I don't know why the colors don't show up. I mean if I do this you can see blue, but you can't see the other colors. So I guess it's something that, you know, isn't going to show up on screen. But I think it's cute and I think he'll enjoy it. But, I mean, how do you use the battery pack? Because it's got the same USB end that this has. You can't USB to USB. Oh, maybe you can. I just learned something. You could slot the USB into that, and now you can, if you had batteries in here, you could run it off battery. Okay, then. I just learned something. Because I thought they were the same USB, but no, you can slot the one into the other. Who knew? Y'all probably did, and you're probably all sitting there going, you're stupid. It's clearly obvious that that's what you do with it. No, it's not clearly obvious. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Anyway, there's that. So I'm going to guess the other one, the USB, is the same way because if you look at the box, it's the same box. <laughs> this one just has a check mark next to the controller. This has a check mark next to the bat. I'm going to put these away for now until I have a place to hang the bat one up. Maybe once I get it hung up, you'll be able to see the color. I don't know. What should I do with these? Should I try them on? They're just so hideous. And I don't like the fabric. I suppose I could wear them around the house. Wear them like pajama pants or something. I just don't want to fool with the hassle of sending it back, you know? Oh, okay, I can't take that off of there now? I don't want to pull too hard because I don't want to break it. Well, it's not going to go back in its box. <laughs> anyway, this video has been a bit of a shit show, hasn't it? <laughs> hmm. I wish this shirt fits a little better. It's, I don't know, I'm going to be tugging at it all the whole time to wear it. 
And it's so weird because it's the exact same size as the other one that I was wearing that arrived in the package yesterday. So, um, I don't know what to do. I gotta see if we can figure out how to um, attach this section to the other section because I accidentally hit stop instead of pause to come back when I had the clothes on. Um, yeah, I would suggest if you order the shirts from Temu, order them a size larger. It's, and they are kind of a weird fabric, but I think it's because they're 3, 3D printing the image. Because one of the things says something about 3D print, and I was like, what does that mean? <coughs> How are you 3D printing clothes? Well, apparently it's the image somehow that they're doing. Um, I don't know. I have the other one here. Like this one. This one even fit better than the one I'm wearing. It's the same size. And it just says 100% polyester. Machine wash, cold, gentle cycle, do not bleach, tumble dry low. Dry clean, gentle cycle. If you're machine washing it, you're not dry cleaning it. I mean, you're giving mis mixed messages. But even this one was looser than this and it, they're the same size and this one was clingy I, just, I still think this is cool though I love that flamey look and wait I these I am so disappointed in those because I they look so cute in the pictures and I was like okay you yeah, convinced me I'll buy them nope <laughs> nope <laughs> the actual jeans are good they're, they're stretchy they're comfortable I actually probably could have gone a size smaller um, when I ordered them I thought I was ordering the size I was wearing at the time and then when I changed clothes later that night I realized that I was actually wearing a size smaller than what I ordered so I would say these are accurate true to size on the jeans Shirts are hit or miss. Um, I would order a size larger on the shirts if, if you're getting the t-shirts. Uh, be careful buying multiple packages of stickers because I got three of the same package even though each one looked like a different thing when I ordered them. Uh, the, the lights are cute. I don't know why they're not showing colors on the screen. This... This is just disappointing. I might have to use these to make chocolate instead of using it for ice. Because it's too flimsy to make ice. I don't know why they're saying it's an ice cube tray when it's clearly too flimsy for that. Anyway. I like the selenite bat. I think it's really cute. I just have to figure out where to put it to display it. Maybe once I get some shelves put up... Um, I'll be able to put it because right now the one bookcase I have in here I have like books by now and then I have like stacks of books and in between I have some vampires and bats and things I don't know can I show you from here ignore the mess <laughs> can, you, can you see there in the second row so I like I said we're moving stuff around so I've got boxes of stuff just piled but um is, what is this caught on there we go you can see a little bit better maybe oh, I've got the things just kind of in the middle anyway 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 I just I can't get this back in the I have the camera sitting in a cup, so... <laughs> Alright, there we go. This is more or less where it needed to be. <coughs> but I, I might be able to set it up, like, on in the shelf like that. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to 
with the uh, this bat lamp put the batteries in it and then set it like in the shelf instead of trying to use the USB because that cable is like maybe two feet <laughs> might be three feet Mm -hmm. that's about three feet it, there's no way it would have to be sitting right next to the computer and I my desk is so cluttered or, well that's not even a desk it's a table it's so cluttered right now that there's no way that I could put that lamp on here and leave it here and the only way I can put it somewhere to display it would be to put batteries in and I'm not even sure if I have double A's do I have double A's? Do I? Do y'all know? <laughs> How would y'all know if I don't know, huh? Let's see. If I do, they're in the drawer. <laughs> Those are triple A's. That's a triple A. I was going to say, ha ha, I've got batteries, but no, they're the wrong size. Uh, there's two double A's. Three double A's. I found them. A random set of keys. I bet those are my dad's keys. That's probably what those are. I don't know. Can you see the jeans better now? And I'm all the way back here. <laughs> I have to keep pulling them up. I don't have enough butt to hold jeans up. You would think somebody my size, but no. And the girl I work with, she's the same problem. We wear about the same size clothes. And she's got the same problem. She's, when she wears pants, they want to slide off too. Because there's not enough backside to hold them up. How did we both end up in the same job? With the flat bottom girls. If you get the reference, you're awesome. Anyway, do, 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 do. do these batteries even work? That's the next question. And you know, it looks more pink now in this green. Well, if I turn it that way, it looks absolutely white, but this way, it there is a little bit of a pink glow. Am I just too close? Does it look pinker now? See, the image looked more purpley. <laughs> so this is clearly a neon pink, and I wish you all could see the, the color better. It feels kind of rubbery. <laughs> And this this part's plastic with the where the light is feels a little bit rubbery i guess that's because it's an led or whatever um anyway welcome to the shit show <laughs> or should i say goodbye from the shit show because we're getting ready to to end this what did i do with my other is this where I put the stickers? Yes. Well, no. No, this is jewelry and stuff, which I was putting in. I'm losing what's left of my mind, just in case anybody was wondering. Let's stick the earrings in there for now. I would just kind of have to remember which pouch has what in it. <laughs> I put the uh, jewelry I got yesterday in the coffin purse. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to try to figure out how to put the two pieces together so that it's one video. And I don't have to try to decipher the pile of stuff that's sitting here and redo things because... <sighs> obviously, I'm a professional video maker. Not, not even close. Anyway... I wonder if Neko Fluttershy is awake. If he's awake, maybe we can go to dinner. I'm getting hungry. I haven't had anything to eat since I got home. 
around, let's see, got home around 9. By the time I ate, it was probably 10. And it's now 6.30, so yeah. Getting a little hungry. So, see if he wants to go get something to eat. I just don't feel like cooking. I'm tired. I don't want to cook. He wants, he's been wanting to go shopping. Maybe we can, if we go to, I wonder what time Ollie's closes. So if we go to Cracker Barrel for dinner, we might have time to run to Ollie's. 6.30 would be 7 o'clock before we even get over there at the earliest. That might not work tonight. We need to get some groceries, but we need to do laundry tomorrow. The hamster in my head is dying. So, okay, the wheels are just spinning. The hamster is dead. Anyway. My eyes are itching like crazy because it's spring and we have pollen. We didn't get the storms we were supposed to get, which is good. I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, we were in line for some really, really severe weather and it didn't come. We were supposed to get slammed last night. And the storm system was producing tornadoes and everything else. But I guess it died down by the time it got here. Because we were supposed to get hit last night. And um, while I was at work, the TV... You know how it does that digital pixelation thing? Like when there's bad weather? It was starting to do that. And I thought, uh-oh, here it comes. And it just stopped doing that and everything was fine. So, I was like, okay. <laughs> I was fully prepared to have to deal with losing power and what have you. And then it, it didn't happen. And then they were saying, 80% chance of rain today. Well, yeah, we had a sprinkle one on my way home. So it's supposed to be 30% tonight. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The weather has been so weird the past couple months. February was warmer than March. We had more days above 70 degrees in February than we did in March. Um, this week, we had two days over, above 80, and it's only the first week of April. So what's that mean for summer? We're going to be roasted. Uh, it was bad summer last year, too. It was super hot. But, I mean... Are we going to keep getting these really bad windstorms? The last two weekends have been just really bad windstorms. I have a chunk of a tree that's blown apart and it there's like a log laying and it's kind of balanced on the top of my shed. And I'm like, I hope nobody comes on the property and gets under it and has it fall on them. Because uh, I'm not going to be able to pay for that. I don't know who to contact to have it cut. So, I don't know. With this weather, it can't make up its mind. And I'm really kind of just like... Eh. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to change into the other shirt, I think. Because this one, it's just... I don't know, it's uncomfortable. Because it, it's snug. If I could lose about maybe five pounds, it'd probably be fine. I gotta stop eating chips for dinner. <laughs> I have had nights like that lately. Where it's just like, I don't know what to eat. Oh, here's a bag of chips. Let's have some chips. <coughs> or for those in the UK, crisps. Um, yeah, I've been eating way too much junk lately. I need to start eating a little healthier need to go and get something for this sinus infection I've been fighting since December. <laughs> but I'm too stubborn to go to the damn doctor. Anyway, I, I, I will make a decision on these ugly things. I might, just to avoid the hassle, if they fit, I might just keep them. If they don't fit, I'll definitely send them back because they're just ugly. They're so ugly. And they look like something completely different in the picture. This is the first time I really feel like I've been duped. 
I kind of suspected with this, when it said silicone, that it was going to be a little too flimsy. I kind of suspected that. But I can use it for something else. And you know, as far as the other two items that I've had issues with, was the other skull ice cube thing. Just it, it's The silicone is just not sturdy enough to hold water. And the bath scrubby which is probably just a, a dud that came off the assembly line that way. Because I bought another one, not from Temu, but at the dollar store, which is probably the same exact thing. It looks the same. And it's been fine. So I think I just got a dud. And I don't know how hard it is to fix, but I might be able to fix it. If I just sit down long enough to do it. But anyway, enough about that. Remember to do all the YouTube things. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Ring the bell icon to be notified of future uploads. Should the YouTube gods deem it worthy. And we will see you in the next one. And hopefully I can get this so that it's all one thing and not two parts. See you next time. Bye bye.